Hey everyone, it's Thursday and it's me, Leo. Um, I am Skyping you from my bed. Skyping. I'm videoing you from my bed. I'm sorry this is so late. I completely forgot to record the video this week. So I am doing this on Christmas night and my eyeliner is smudged. Terrible. I know, don't look at me. Darlings, don't look at me. Um, so the topic of this week is holiday plans. My holiday plans are quite boring because I'm still 16 years old. So I'm still in my parents' custody. So my holiday plans are their holiday plans. And my holiday plans were originally that I was going to go and stay with my dad. But he has a lot of step family. But, oh, this is going to get really confusing divorced child mentality right now. My uncle lives in Japan. He came over to England this Christmas. I wanted my dad to invite him down, but that didn't work out because my dad wouldn't let him in the house anymore because my uncle's supportive of me being trans, which is apparently a viable reason to not let someone in the house, I know. That might have been an overreaction, I'm sorry. Anyway, and I was like, didn't really want to spend Christmas with a bunch of people that I don't really know. So it's my mum's instead, which is nice. It was misgendering though. But my grandma, like bless my grandma, but also, she keeps telling me that I need to grow my hair. But yeah, no. Holiday plans. not very interesting for me to talk about, I'm sorry. Everyone else has been much more interesting than me. I think holidays are difficult for trans people because they're not very, you know, there's some awkward navigation around misgendering and having to pretend to be cis for your family members, which is just so distressing. cis -dressing. Um It's really not nice. But it also gives me an excuse to wear eyeliner, I really like wearing eyeliner, so, you know, it's not all bad. I just, this is probably not a very informal video. I'm still slightly tipsy from the Christmas lunch, so that might be why. But yeah, so, things we take away from this, my dad can be an asshole. Christmas lunch was really good. I made a really great cake. It was a white chocolate and passion fruit yule log. It was so nice. It was so good. That's the third thing you take away from this. The third and most important thing is that I am great at making cake. I got cake stuff for Christmas. So much cake stuff, it was great. Um, the fourth thing we take away from this video is that even if you get misgendered at Christmas and even if they make you wear a dress or they make you wear boy clothes or they make you wear clothes you don't want to wear you're still valid and fabulous and I'm gonna go because I think I need to sleep this off <laughs> but I hope you've all had a really good Christmas 